Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm super excited to be trying to make some dishes that are inspired by the world of League of Legends. And the first one I'm trying to do is inspired from the dish that we saw Vi eating in the Arcane series on Netflix. So at Jericho's Hat, there's all kinds of fresh sea creatures and fish and whatnot. And there was something green and something orange. I want to show you what I came up with and to have a jumping point, I took inspiration from a real world recipe, which is inspired by pan fried whole fish uh, yellow croaker and add a little sauce, add a little rice. And I'm excited to show it to you guys. We are going to attempt to create a recipe that is inspired by frying full yellow croaker fish and then we're going to attempt to imitate that bowl of whatever fish parts uh, Vi was eating when she was over at Jericho's little stand down in the Undercity. So we have our little yellow croaker fish and we have them prepped. We also have uh, white wine, uh, you could also use like soju, rice wine, anything in that field for cooking as a base to marinate, salt, pepper, and garlic. And when you're doing just two fish, they only want a little bit of garlic for flavor. I'm doing more and also I really, really like garlic, so I added a little extra in there for fun. When we bread it, we're going to be using three different kinds of flours or starches. Different recipes will ask for glutinous rice, wheat flour, cornstarch, different types. So I'm mixing what I had available to me and then I do have some oil for frying it. And then that bright orange tone, we were gonna try to imitate with that sriracha mayo. And the green tone, I'm gonna add in some green food coloring along the way so that it looks a little more fantastical. First thing we're gonna do is take these ingredients and combine them with our fish. And then I'm going to combine it. Make sure everything's coated. Also, what meal is not complete unless you have a rice cooker? Yum. All right, we made some fresh rice to go along with our fish tonight. Now that our fish has marinated, I'm going to add in some green food coloring. Normally they say only add a few drops, but I want this to be as bright as possible. And normally they'll say to add only a couple drops because you want to make sure the color is not too dark. In this one case, I want this to be as bold and crazy as possible. So I added a whole lot. To mix it all in, I'm going to use a pair of tongs this time. Oh, bright, bright green. That looks so good. And I'll let it sit for just another little minute or so just to make sure everything is coated and that color will shine through the breading, which is our next step. Well, a quick reminder, I just had a little bit of green splash on my hand in that last shot and I already can't get off my skin. So please be careful when dealing with different pigments and dyes when cooking. Unless you want to wear it, you can make sure you have gloves or the proper pieces. They're bright green. And the bread beans. And I'm going to grab one from the bottom. And after it's done dripping a lot, pour it here into my mix of my flours and starches. it a few times, cover it up, make sure it's thoroughly coated. And then I'm going to put it over here on a plate. which I've already poured in the pan.
We have breaded our fish and they are ready for being fried on the stove top. You put them in for about three to five minutes to cook fully and then I'm gonna dry them over here on my set of three paper towels. And here is the finished product of our dyed, fried, yellow coker fish. I have some more getting cooked now, frying on top, and I have one more round to go. And then if you need to, you can always add a little extra flour before you put it in so it has a good thick coating. And I can always add more oil if I end up running a little low in there. I want to make sure that it's being cooked evenly. To get them as crisp as I did, I rotated them back and forth every 30 seconds or so to make sure it was cooking evenly. And back to the rice. I'm gonna grab some from in here. Prep it in a bowl. And then while the rest of those cook, I'll place my fish in here. All right, we have all three fish in the bowl over our rice. Let's add in some sriracha mayo. And this is my twist on Vi's favorite meal at Jericho's. All right, now that that's done, I need to find someone to try this. I am super excited. I think it looks great. But what does Luke think? Hey. Hey you. I made you dinner. It's blue. Yeah. You should try it though. It's fried fish with rice and spicy mayo. You love spicy mayo. Wait, is that good? It's good? Nice. I want some. I have to make more just for me. Wait, were there eyeballs in this? Uh, the heads have eyeballs, yeah. Why did you say eyeballs? Yeah. But it's delicious though. Yay! I was going for Vi's dish when she's at Jericho's. Green fish, orange sauce. There have been times when I've made stuff like, oh, this sounds like a good idea. I'll just throw all these ingredients together and then I serve it and I give it to Luke. He's like, this didn't work. So I'm really glad that he thought it was tasty and I'm glad that it was something that was both based on an international dish that we would love to try in person anyways. And we were able to take a little twist with it by adding a little coloring stage here to match the story. You're still going. I'm glad it's like actually delicious and not just saying it to be nice to me. 
Um, no. Um. Mm-hmm. Just gotta use, get used to the, the bones. But I'm just not used to tickling my throat. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And we hope to see you again soon. And we'll be sharing more stuff in the near future.